creating a database connection every time you go to work is a very bad idea. So instead, what you want to do is you want to head over to Maven Central, the Maven repository and find the Hikari connection pool. I've got version six right here. This is the one that Spring Boot uses and another a, a number of other projects use to do JDBC connection pooling. It allows you to just create a nice pool of connections and then hand them out when needed instead of creating a new one each time, which is very resource intensive. I'm just going to paste that gav right in there. Control shift F. Make sure that all of this looks handsome. And now I have the Hikari connection pooling capabilities in here along with my Microsoft SQL Server JDBC driver as well. Now, with that added, I can create a method that doles out connections from a connection pool quite easily. I'm just going to create a, a static method here that'll stick to my clothes when I bring it out of the dryer. It's going to return the data source to anybody that wants it. The data source is going to come from Hikari connection pooling. So I'll say var data source equals new Hikari data source. And then of course the data source needs that JDBC URL because it needs to know what database it's connecting to and the port and the URL and all of that. So do a little organize imports. Now with the data source created, I'm just going to set the JDBC URL. That's the key property here. It's the one above. Again, make sure your SA user actually exists in your SQL Server database. And now I'm just going to return the data source. Anybody that wants a connection, rather than going to the driver manager, will just go to the data source, go to the connection pool and say, hey, instead of driver manager dot get connection, well, what we can say is, uh, hey, Let's call that static get data source method. Say get connection. We don't have to provide the JDBC URL to the get connection method. Uh, that's all built into the data source. I can tidy this up all over my code. And now I think this is a beautiful thing. We are no longer creating those resource intensive connections every time somebody wants to go to the database. But instead, we've got a pool of active connections that have already have been created and are just absolutely ready to go. And this will shave milliseconds off uh, the database operations every time somebody needs something. And so there we go. I forgot to put my delete method in a, a separate method. So I'll right click and say refractor extract method. We'll call this the delete operation. Now, I think I'm just going to comment out a few of these here. we got the full CRUD, C-R-U-D. That does look nice there, but I'm just going to stick with the, the create operation for now. What's that going to do? Let's put learn Jakarta EE -E into the database. Actually, maybe I'll change that to like and subscribe. So, because you should do that. You should like and you should subscribe and comment and follow me on Twitter and be nice to my mom and all of those nice things. Okay, it says we created a record, but you know where I'm from. I'm from Missouri. So do an execute and there you go. Like and subscribe, which is just a, a very wise thing to do. And there you go. That's how you create a, a connection pool using the Hikari data source and feed that to all of your CRUD operations. And for that matter, here are those CRUD operations, right? You got the, the SQL driver, you've got the delete, update, retrieve, create, a combination of prepared statements and statement objects, execute and execute query calls on those. And I think it all looks really handsome. And there you go. That is how easy it is to do CRUD operations against uh, my Microsoft SQL Server database using JDBC.